Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody and Camera Boy. Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody and Camera Boy. Hello. Today we are going to unbox this fabulous PSRX SX, be careful how you say that, 900. This is the flagship PSR Arranger keyboard from Yamaha. As it says on the box, digital workstation. But I think it sounds a lot better in French. Clavier Arranger Professionnel. Let's get started. Okay, just in case you don't know what a workstation keyboard is, it's a fabulous bit of kit and a lot of fun. And to demonstrate that, I've made a little montage, pun intended, showing the fun and games that we had with my previous PSR keyboard about three years ago, so the footage is a little bit cringe. Hey guys, I'm Woody, this is Piano Shack. Thanks for joining me. Today we have a very exciting episode. I've been looking forward to unboxing. After this very awkward intro, we get straight into a review of my kitchen knife. Damn, that was a crappy knife. Get it over here. And I enjoy the first factory preset, probably a little bit too much than I should. You can use an arranger to do um, interesting remixes. Who the hell is this guy and why is he playing my PSR? Does anybody recognize him? That's me in the corner. explain a little. You guys wanted to know all about my massive monitor. Straps here. In today's episode we are going to demonstrate exactly what makes we got funky with some groovy styles. Thing really grooves. You're gonna hear that in a second. Okay you're probably asking what does the other knob do? Let's wind this I go all the way to the left, we just have the drums, okay? Listen to that kick. That's pretty sweet. Here is my infamous one style from every category video series, where we played one style from every category. Yes, uh, indeed, it didn't always go to plan. I failed to solve a Rubik's Cube. In this video we are going to install Yamaha's Euro Dance Expansion Pack which I have on this USB drive and we're going to answer the question, is it any good? I annoyed my viewers immensely by drinking tea and eating biscuits during a demo. What was this song? Something with jam, jam. Eat up the jam, eat the jam on your toast. Eat up the jam, eat it up. Yay. I'm gonna call this the biscuit beat. After watching that rubbish, it's unbelievable to me that Yamaha actually sent me this Maybe they don't watch my old videos, but that brings me on to the next point, which is the disclosure. 
Yamaha have very kindly loaned me this keyboard and when I'm finished making videos I'll either buy it from them or send it back. Thanks ever so much for helping me out and as always the opinions expressed are my own entirely and Yamaha have no editorial control over these videos. Now let's get on with it. Okay, as we unbox this, let me tell you where this fits into the Yamaha product lineup. Now this is an expensive keyboard, this is the flagship PSR, it replaces the PSR S975, now they've gone for this SX900 uh, acronym instead. I don't know why, but this is the flagship PSR, if you want the next best arranger keyboard, then you're looking at the Yamaha Genos, which is twice the price of this one. This one is currently about $2,200 or something. Genos is twice as much. So this is a high-end flagship instrument, costing more than some of their pro digital synthesizers, but it does a lot more stuff as well. And these things are really enjoyable to play. Let's get past these staples. So yeah, this is more expensive than my Modi X. And let's think, almost as much money as a Montage, which is their professional flagship synthesizer. Okay, we're nearly there. Let's get this stuff out of the way. And we should perhaps pull out the leads and stuff first as well. We won't go over everything in minute detail. There's the power brick. We have manual here, it's nice. Paper manual. Now, let me try and... Ah, there's a music rest underneath as well, that's great. These things have built-in speakers, which I really like. You getting the good angles, Eddie? Yeah. Great. They have built-in speakers and a music rest. I wish more synthesizers had built-in speakers. It's really convenient not having, to, not having to hook them up to monitors. Just, there's your tape down, we'll get that later. So, let's take a look. Oh, there she is. Now my last PSR was silver, as you saw. They've actually redesigned it now to be black. There we go. Which actually looks a lot better, I think. It looks a bit more pro. And there's the two loudspeakers there. I heard someone once say, what's the difference between an arranger keyboard and a professional synthesizer. Well, the difference is arranger keyboards, home keyboards, have a circular volume control, whereas synthesizers have faders. Now, not so true, not so much these days. It certainly used to be the case. Okay, nice, let's put it up on the desk and we'll have a closer look. Nice uh, selection of outputs on the back. I can see more USB there as well. We won't go through these all in detail today, or do you want me to? Okay, I will. Cut! So this is actually going to be quite a quick unboxing for me, so I'll be a bit more thorough. Let's go through the back outputs here. External power supply, we have a sub output, which is nice. If you want to send a separate signal to this output, you can. There's a main stereo output there as well. We have an aux input for your MP3 player, phone, or whatever it might be mic or guitar levels and a mic guitar input there as well that's nice i have a microphone and we can experiment actually a little bit with the uh, the harmonization features on this they little auto tune your voice and add harmonies to your voice and stuff as well so that would be fun if you can put up with my singing there's a gain control for that one foot pedal inputs two of those midi in and out that's nice to see and then we have a whole host of usb connections over there. This one, I do believe, sends USB audio and definitely MIDI to the PC via one USB cable. So yeah, I have to say, I'm really liking this brushed black finish here. It does feel, it's made of plastic entirely, but it does feel quite substantial this time actually, more so than my previous keyboard. The screen will power on in a minute, but it feels the same as my Modi X screen. Oh, buttons feel a bit strange quite small and rubbery but uh, yeah that'll be fine here are all the performance buttons down on the bottom there just like the psr they feel great and this is unusual for a yamaha a mod stick there we go i've not seen that on a yamaha keyboard before at all 
So you've got your pitch bend there, modulation up and down as well. Yamaha traditionally have a separate pitch wheel and a modulation wheel there instead. Some assignable buttons there. Let's take a feel of the keys, which feel quite similar to my previous PSR. These are very light, with quite a shallow travel, which makes them great for playing fast synth runs. This feels actually a little bit improved to what I had before. It's a bit more resistance on this one. It feels fine. Okay, camera boy just wanted to feel the keys as well. Have a, have a go. What do you think? Good. Good, excellent. Thanks for the, uh, for the re review. Okay, I've connected it up. Come uh, a bit closer. We'll power this thing on and see what it does. If I can find the button. Where was the button? There. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the screen as we power this on then. Switch off that. Taking a little while to boot. Taking a long time to boot. There we go. I heard the click as the speakers came into life as well. So what do we have on the screen here? This is the default factory preset then that's selected when you switch it on. Sky Pop, okay. Weird, let's see, these are the instrument sounds. We've got the Concert Grand, something VP Soft, whatever that is, a synthesizer, I suppose. Oh, in the left hand, yeah. Seattle Strings and a Steel Acoustic on our right hand. You can layer and split this. It's quite easy to do, but I'll demonstrate all those features in the upcoming videos. <laughs> If we press this button over here, there's one that's called accompaniment. Is that one there? Yeah. Press that one. And then press one of the keys down there. Okay, let's press this sync start button. Or sync start stop, that one yeah, there, stop. yeah. Okay, try now. <laughs> Keep holding down the same one. There we go. And then you can press ending. That was our first little melody. Thank you, uh, Eddie, there for playing the first song there. Now, those speakers sounded really good, but you won't be able to hear that yourself. You won't be able to hear that because you're just hearing the onboard camera microphone, which is not so great. So what we're going to do, I will play this for you in a separate video when, we're, when we've got it connected up to the computer and we can hear it in the best... Uh, what, what, what do you mean you'll be disappointed and write angry comments? To me. You want me to play this thing now? Okay, we'll do it towards the end of the video. I will hook it up and we'll do a proper demonstration using the first couple of presets at the end of this video. But first, I just want to get a couple of practical details out the way. Is that leaning? Can you? Okay, so what are my plans for the PSR then? Well, I will do some demos and tutorials on some of the main interesting features of this one like the uh, chord recorder it has, which looks like a lot of fun. We will, of course, also demonstrate and have fun with a lot of the styles. And here's an interesting idea I had as well. On my PC, I have Band in a Box, which is like a software version of an arranger, although it doesn't quite work in real time. You have to punch in the chords in advance. But what if we compare the sound of Band in a Box, which uses recordings of real musicians, compared to the sound of this flagship PSR instrument? I think that would be really interesting. And I'm not really sure what angle I should have for the videos that are coming up on this. We will be doing a number of different videos, so if you want, let me know in the comments what sort of approach you'd like me to take when we demonstrate this instrument. Are there special features that you want me to showcase? Or is there some kind of angle or challenge or some fun games that we can do with this? Because these are extremely powerful workstations, no doubt about it, but for me, the attraction is they're a lot of fun to play, and bring you a lot of enjoyment and inspiration. Hold the camera steady, please. Yeah. So that'll be a lot of fun to demonstrate, and share with you, share the experience as much as I can in the upcoming videos. Okay, I'm gonna let camera boy go now. I'll re-rig this, we'll set up some mood lighting, get a nice atmosphere so I can do some demonstrations for you. Uh, thank you very much, camera boy, for your help. You can get back to catching Pokemon or playing, what's it called? Fortnite. Yeah.
Minecraft. Minecraft, or whatever it is you like to do. Thanks very much, Eddie, for helping out today. Let's get on with the performance. Goodbye. Cut. Okay, we are back. It's actually the next day. I'm here again with Camera Boy. Hello. Hello. Have you caught any Pokemons today, Camera Boy? Yeah. What, what did you catch? <laughs> I have no idea what my son is talking about these days. But anyway, it's the next day. I'm feeling a bit tired. If I'm looking tired, it's because I was up until 2.30 this morning, really enjoying this thing. I found a couple of jazz and funk styles that I really loved. And I just set up a chord progression in the chord looper, which is a new feature that I really like. And was just jamming along with both hands, just practicing really. And it was quite an inspiring practice and I was up until the very early hours. But let's get on with this right now. Um, I did spend about six hours with it in total. And I have quite a few strong opinions and first impressions, pros and cons. So what I'll do is a separate video with those that will come out in a couple of days or so, because I'm sure by now, like me, you want to hear how this thing sounds. Okay, I put together a little performance that I think you'll like. I think it sounds pretty cool, actually. And I thought I'd share with you the process to come up with this performance, because I think you'll find it interesting. So if we go to the styles here, the very first style I actually wanted to play for you, because that's what loads up when you start this from the factory. But I didn't find it to be all that inspiring, actually. It does sound like this. If I trigger it off here, you'll be able to hear what it sounds like. Sounds a bit like some kind of Robbie Williams tune to me. There's four variations, here's the second one. Ah, it's pretty cool. But it didn't actually inspire me to make a song with it. So I went to the second patch here, which we have down there, the second style. I'll put it up on the screen what it's called. This one I thought was much better. We have a variation one, which works well as an intro, that sounds a little bit like this. I'm going to play something in the key of D. Trigger the start. You can come a bit closer if you like and see what I'm doing. So this is variation one here, which I thought sounded quite nice. I'm going to play a groove in the key of D. Here's the main variation. Another one here, third variation, and the fourth one, and I thought I could do something with this actually, but for my tastes, these are a little bit busy. In any case, the third one here, if I play this for you again. It's cool and all that, and very well programmed, but I think we can make this even better. And here's a nice trick I've learned. This is something I did with my old PSR, one of my favorite features on this keyboard, actually. Let's get this going again. If I turn this knob here, I've assigned it to style mute. You're doing a great job with the filming, Eddie. Well done. I've assigned it to film to, what did I say, film mute? To style part mute. So as we play here, it's just the drums, I can bring in the bass, some guitar, and then all the way up we have the full Monty. If I take the other control here, this is good as well. It works the other way around. We remove the drums first. If I put it to halfway, we've got the bass, and some simple chords. So we're just left with one part. So this is a really great feature. And I'm gonna use this during my performance, I think, just to, just to dial it back a little bit. Some of these styles are a little bit OTT for my taste anyway. Uh, for you, your mileage may vary. You might, like, you might like them that way, but I prefer to leave a bit of space in the arrangements so I can do something with my right hand. Otherwise, if you have everything on, on these styles, there's not really much space for you to do anything else up here. So that's what we're going to do today regarding the styles. Regarding the sounds with my right hand then, there are some one-touch settings that are associated with this style. This is a layer of three different sounds I can see. Then we have this one. This will be triggered for the variation two. Then we have this one for variation three. Guitar. Quite nice. 
And a very big sound, but again, this is just a bit too much. I'll show you what I mean. If we have everything running at the same time. Maybe that's okay for you, but I wanted something a bit simpler. So I actually edited these somewhat and decided just to use this sound. Just to do a riff with this sound throughout the song. Yeah, that's sounding great. So that's what I did with the lead sounds and the style sounds. I think that's pretty much what I had to show you. I think I'm kind of ready to give you the performance now if you'd care to watch. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to initialize my patch here. We'll start with an intro. Uh, there, I guess. Let's see what this sounds like. And we need to have this sound right now. Style maxed out. Okay, here we go. Actually, I wanted to start on uh, the note of G, so let's try that again. One more time. Chords, never mind. There we go. And again. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the main section. Strings on, never mind. Something along those lines. That wasn't at, at all like what I practiced, but never mind. I thought it came out pretty cool. It sounds like a hit song in the making. What do you say, Eddie? Good. Good, he likes it. I hope you liked it too. That's all I had for today. Many more videos about the SX900 coming up, so keep an eye on my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks ever so much for watching this one. If you're watching, a shout out to my godson, Jack, who is probably one of my youngest viewers. Hi, Jack. Hope you're watching. Have a great day. The rest of you, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Cheerio. Just wanted to tell you about my piano inspiration series. These are video lessons with the goal of improving playing technique, building music theory knowledge, and broadening your repertoire. I've created lessons for players of all abilities, and we cover a wide variety of topics and musical genres. I'm really proud of how they came out. Subscribe to my Patreon or join my YouTube channel, and you'll get two new episodes every month, plus instant access to the entire archive. If you prefer, you can watch old episodes for free on Skillshare when you use my link. More information in the video description or on my website.